Greetings and welcome back to Project Zomboid Risen Dead uh, Custom Sandbox with no mods So I may have done my um, exercise routine twice today <laughs> I couldn't remember if I did it before I closed out last time so I went ahead and did it again and I'm going to use up this entire bottle of vitamins I bet do I have more? Because I don't want to take another nap right now. But uh, what we're going to do today is since all the zombies respawned, we have this place cleared out. But there's bound to be more outside in the courtyard and in the immediate surrounding areas. and. It's about damn time that my sleepiness went away. I'm going to take a handful more of these. And we're going to check outside. And maybe the fact that I saved and reloaded the game despawned the ones in the immediate vicinity that it was only loading in the or, or converting the game that caused them to spawn and it still has that bit where it despawns in the immediate vicinity when you reload so we may be in the clear let's just do a little bit of jogging yeah it looks as if this area is clear all right, let's stop sneaking. Do a little bit of jogging. I'm trying to get rid of my boredom by being outside. But yeah, it looks like uh, the zombies have either moved on. Well, the ones in the courtyard here couldn't have moved on. They had to have despawned. Um, so we've got a little bit of cleanup to do. And I did find my seeds. I had my farming equipment in the uh, break room at that other, um, or the seeds at least, over there. But I still need like a trowel or something um, to dig furrows. And I might have something like that in one of these rooms. Hand fork. That will work. Let's uh, grab one of those. And we are going to uh, go ahead and plant some seeds just to get uh, the farming started. I have three different types, if I recall. Oh, and I'm hungry. Well, not hungry enough to eat yet. Yeah, carrots, potatoes, and tomatoes. Um, I am going to need something. Let's fill up our water bottle. I am going to need something to carry water in. Maybe I've got a bucket or something around here. I, I don't think I found any gardening stuff yet. But uh, the only wound I still have after spending the night was uh, the one on my groin. And it annoys me that they, uh, they always go after my groin. But we're going to go out here and see about planting a little bit of crops. Um, We'll do it out this way. And I do need to rest first. But I need to get outside before I get really bored. Oh, uh, that's right. I've gotten rid of all the chairs. I'll just rest on the ground out here or just by walking at a slower pace. Alright, so we are now outside. What we want to do is dig some furrows. And you really should spread these out like um, they have to be more than two sp or two spaces away. So you kind of kind of spread them out like a, a knight's move, really, to avoid um, the uh, diseases from spreading so well. But I'm not that worried about that, honestly. If I lose them, I lose them. So I'm going to dig some traditional furrows, uh, probably about four or five long. 
Well, I guess three. Now, unfortunately, this means like devil fungus will wipe out my entire set of crops, but so be it. Um, I'm not that worried about the goofy look I would have to do for it to be overly efficient. Now, well, actually, there is another thing I could do, which would be spread out these rows by two. Uh, that way they won't spread from row to row. Uh, so, yeah, if I had, instead of putting them two spaces away like that, if I put them three, these will be safe from whatever those catch. So I could do it that way and still have them somewhat efficiently uh, placed. Now it does mean whatever crop I have in a particular row, if I get Devil's Fungus, all of them are gone. But, you know, still. And it also takes up quite a bit of space this way. Alright, so we have several rows right now. And I have three different crops to do. So let's start, uh, let's just go ahead and open these packets. And let's start with the potatoes. Uh, it doesn't say how many seeds it takes, but we'll find out when we plant them. All right, it takes four. All right, so we've got some potatoes started there. Um, let's go up to the other end and put in some tomatoes. These also take four. So let's do two rows of each. Yeah, we'll just go along here and, and put two rows of tomatoes, two rows of carrots, and another row of potatoes. And it'll take some time for these to grow. As you see, the average grow time is for like 15 days for this. Now that's a lot faster than it is in real life, of course. Because they don't want you sitting around all eternity waiting for actual crops, like entire seasons. Um, but I have thought about adjusting that for mine to where they're a little bit more realistic. Oh, the carrots went through a little bit faster. Okay. I wasn't even paying attention to how many the uh, seeds the carrots took. But the potatoes and the... Uh... Oh, that required 12. Yeah, I can see now on the list where it says how, how many it requires. So we'd actually need more carrot seeds to finish out that row. Um... Let's actually go ahead and put more potatoes here for now, just to make use of all of our furrows. There we go. And I picked up some worms from the, uh, um, what is the word I'm looking for? All right, now, uh, info. Now, if we look at the info on this stuff, uh, it currently has has not been fertilized, it's healthy, but it is the, all this stuff is parched, so I'm going to need to fill it uh, to water all of these plants. It doesn't take much to water them to full. Where is... select the one you're standing on, moron. Do I... am I not able to water anymore? Oh, no. <laughs> That's what it is. Is I used up. I need a lot more uh, capacity for water for this. So we're going to have to find something else. And I'm probably going to have to deal with my boredom 
in a different fashion. Well, no, my boredom's all gone. My tiredness is what is bothering me now. I may end up taking a nap. Alright, do I have any buckets? No. Let's refill our water bottle at least. We'll go put our seeds back up and see if we can't find a larger container. Um, let's do walk to so we can speed this up a little bit. Alright, so we'll put our seeds back up. We do need to find like a bucket um, or watering cans would be even better. And let's just put the worms in here. Put our bandages up. And actually, let's go ahead and take a nap. <laughs> it'll sleep most of the day away. Maybe it'll rain and uh, water the plants for us. But we do need to get rid of our drowsiness. It does sound like there's rain in the background, but I don't think there is. It's hard to tell now. Nope, no rain. Alright, so let's head up to that hardware shop, see if we can't find some buckets or things. It must have just been wind I was hearing. And for now, it does look like the immediate area is clear. Oops, spoke too soon. So we have one zombie right over here. Let's see if I can't take care of it. seems to be the only zombie in the immediate vicinity. Most of the other corpses are still decaying. Probably quite a few have completely decomposed since apparently my settings did not fix because it should not be a skeleton so quickly. Not unless it's at the standard decay rate. Um, that's a problem I had with a lot of the bodies. I don't see any in this immediate vicinity either. Yeah. So, looks like we've got a clear shot to the hardware store, which should be that door. Maybe we'll find some gardening supplies inside. We could use some uh, watering cans. Those are more efficient. Uh, nope, nope. Must have been the first one. Because I'm pretty sure it's not the third one. Yes, yeah, the first one. out the few zombies that showed up here. Alright, now, let's get here and check all of these containers for something that would be useful to us. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't have a lot of space. I'd like to take the wood axes and stuff. I do need a crowbar. That's only two. I can carry the spare crowbar. But we are mainly looking for containers. 
that will hold water. Or gardening equipment. Which I probably won't find in an actual hardware store since they've redone the uh, loot tables. You should be able to find a bucket here. You would think. Then again, all of these loot tables should have been already done. Well, there's a trowel. All of the done because I'd already looked in these containers unless it decided to respawn them. But it doesn't look like it because I don't see any large metal sheets because I pulled them all out of here. But no, it doesn't look like the hardware store is going to have what we need. No. I did need the backup crowbar, though. All right. So we need to find some containers, buckets, stuff like that. Uh, there are obviously some in that building. And I am not sure where a good place to check is other than the uh, the Big Mart area. Um, let's see, what is this? This is a restaurant, I believe. Yes. was this one. This was a row of shops. Let's grab a smoke. That'll also take care of some of our sadness. Bandage is dirty. Let's go ahead and swap that out when we finish our cigarette. saw one the other way. Now that we're out, yep, we're going to have to clear out this building again. I didn't want to go through the door to where they were. I wanted to lure them outside. Come on, buddy. Oh. One of them is beating on a door. We're going to the axe for now. locked one up in this closet. Alright. 
Now, let's get rid of our broken... Let's grab that house key. Get rid of our broken golf club. And put that crowbar we got on our back. So now we've got our crowbar back. All right, this is an office type area, closet area. I think this is a doctor's office. I probably won't find containers here, but I want to make sure it's clear of zombies. Don't hear any moving. I think all of them came out of here. Yeah, they did. There's some at the front. But the area itself seems clear. So let's check one of the other offices down, or buildings, businesses down this way. Furniture store. And I think the other's a toy store. That might have a bucket, the toy store. Oh no, I guess it's just the two. We've got a few to uh, take out. might be able to ninja this one. We'll give it a shot. That one's about to start breaking that window. Stop that. Stop that. Interact with the door. gotten all of them that were directly in front of this building. After he broke the window, he came to the open door. Alright, we've got the bookstore, a travel store. This, I believe, is... Yeah, that's part... Uh, we haven't checked that next building. That's the one we need to check. It looks like it's got... shelves. I don't think it's a bookstore. How did I miss you twice? sneaking up on us yet. Yeah, this is a toy store, I think. We might find a bucket in there.
one headed for that door but to our left. I'm exhausted, I'm tired, I'm just taking a nap. One of them broke a window here. Where the hell are you going? an awful lot for me to take him out with this level of exertion and tiredness and pain. Normally it's about five swings. Now I've got to be worried about what's coming up behind me at this point. I'd like to get one of these guys down there. We go. knew one would be coming behind me. I expected him to be closer though, honestly. There we go. Now I can finish checking this shop. If they'll stop pouring into it. Let's just bring this open and check the shelves as we go past. Toys. There's got to be a bucket in here somewhere, I think. Stop swinging. I'd probably be wrong. It's probably all going to be junk toys. Let's get down to the back area here. Now I have a chance of finding a bucket in one of these. Well, there's some more seeds. And some fertilizer. Cabbage. Can I carry the fertilizer? Yes. All right, we do have a couple more shops along here. This is an office. It won't have anything I need. What is this? It is not a bookstore. It is more toys. So yeah, no bucket so far. I might need to check a house. That might be the better idea. People are bound to have a bucket in their garage. Alright, let's stop sneaking and do a quicker walk. Oh crap. Let's go this way. Where did you guys come from? milling into this area again because I know they're not respawning this quickly. It takes day, uh, at least 16 hours on scene for stuff to respawn in the default progression. And it, it only respawns every few days. Stop that. Alright, got three more to deal with in the immediate vicinity. one made it here yet? No. She's not even coming this way. Alright, let's switch to our screwdriver sneak and see if we can't take her out quickly. 
be less exhaustion for me. I want my screwdriver back, woman. Sounds like there's one headed for me. Took me a while to get into combat mode to deal with her. It's taking me even longer to deal with her. Alright. Bandage is still good. I hear another snarling. But we're just going to start moving on. Yep, there's another one. Maybe it'll be clear down this way. Looks like it. Let's go ahead and check this garage. There is a garage here. Okay, no, there's just houses. But let's check this house. And see if we can't find a bucket in it. And I am hungry. And I probably did not bring food with me. Oh, no, I brought some jerky. Just eat all of it. There we go. Now this is a house I've obviously cleaned out. I wonder if there's going to be any zombies in it. Don't see any. Just do a quick check looking for a bucket. More bandages. Alright, there's a utility closet. It might have a bucket. Nope. That will not have buckets. Okay. We can stop sneaking at this point, because I don't think there's any zombies in the immediate vicinity. Check one more house, and then go back in and call this an episode, and we'll have to continue the search later. Um... But it would be nice to get those uh, things watered before a few days pass. I hear a zombie. That's all I really wanted to check. That would be the only place that would possibly have it. Maybe the trunk? No. Alright, so let's head on back and call this an episode. And I'll get rested up some more. Maybe do a little bit of watering with the water bottle, which actually takes forever. Um, but we need to find a bucket. A watering can would be even better. I could actually check upstairs real quick. Because there is two utility areas that might have a bucket. Um, let's see faster. This area here. No. And this area back here. But I think I'd moved all of this to be bleach. I think I'd move my cleaning supplies here, yeah. Or it has spawned bleach up here. Yep. Now if I do use up, I, I could use up the bleach bottles. How much do they weigh? 1.6, I can fit one in here. 
I could use up the bleach bottles cleaning up some of this uh, mess around here. Where's that sponge? Give me the sponge. Cleaning up some of this, the blood around here. Empty out a bleach bottle so that I can carry water in it. That would probably be a way to go. But we will call this an episode. So thank you all for watching. And we'll see you next time.